Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given the NOR and the NAND gate based two latches. And in these two latches, their inputs P1 and P2 are changed in the specific sequence. So here, we have been asked to find the corresponding stable outputs of the two latches. So if you closely observe these two latches, then they are basically the SR latches. So this latch is based on the NOR gate and this input is actually the R input. On the other end, this input is the S input. So for this NOR latch, this output will be the Q, while this output will be the Q bar. Likewise, for this NAND gate based latch, this input is the S input, while this input is the R input. And likewise, these two outputs are Q and Q bar. So based on the specific input combination, we can easily find the output. But even if you don't know about that, then also based on the input combination, you can easily find the outputs. So first, let us see the output of the NOR latch. So here, this P1 is 0 and this P2 is equal to 1. Now if you know, then when any of the input of the NOR gate is equal to 1, then its output will be equal to 0. So here, since the P2 input is 1, so its output will be equal to 0. That means this Q2 will be equal to 0. And the same 0 will also appear over here. That means now, the input of this first NOR gate are 0. And therefore, its output will be equal to 1. That means for the NOR gate, initially, the outputs will be equal to 1 and 0. Similarly, for this NAND gate based latch, the inputs are 0 and 1. So for the NAND gate, as you know, when any of the input is 0, then its output will be equal to 1. So here, since P1 is equal to 0, so its output Q1 will be equal to 1. And the same 1 will also appear over here. That means now if you see, then both the inputs to the second NAND gate are 1. And therefore, its output will be equal to 0. That means for this NAND gate also, initially, the outputs are 1 and 0. That means whenever these inputs P1 and P2 are 0, 1, then for both the latches, initially the outputs are 1 and 0. Now let's see their outputs when this P1 and P2 are 1, 1. And first, let us see the output of this NOR gate based latch. So here, both the inputs P1 and P2 are 0. So as I said earlier, for any NOR gate, when any one of the input is 1, then its output will be equal to 0. And therefore over here, both the outputs will be 0. That means initially, the output of this NOR gate based latch were 1, 0 and later on, it becomes 0, 0. That means both the outputs of this NOR gate based latch will become 0. Similarly, let us see the output of this NAND gate based latch. So here also, both the inputs are 1, 1. And initially, this Q1 and Q2 were 1, 0. That means this Q1 was 1 while the Q2 was 0. And the same 0 will also appear over here. That means now in the next state, since one of the input of the NAND gate is 0, so its output will be equal to 1. That means in the next state also, this Q1 will remain 1. And the same 1 will also appear over here. Now for this second NAND gate, since both the inputs are 1, so its output will remain 0. That means in the next state also, this Q2 will remain 0. That means whenever this P1 and P2 were 0, 1, then this Q1 and Q2 were 1, 0. And once it becomes 1, 1, then also the outputs will remain 1, 0. On the other end, for this NOR gate based latch, initially the outputs were 1, 0. And once the P1 and P2 becomes 1, 1, then the outputs becomes 0, 0. So from this we can say that for the given question, this is the correct answer. 